Hey everybody, Davey Dog here, Dave Foster, Fontaine family, the real estate leader. I thought for the next few weeks in my Too Fast series, I would go over the purchase and sale agreement, which is used when people buy and sell homes. Many times people get into a contract and have never seen it, don't understand the parts of it. So sit back, check it out, click the link in the show notes to see the entire video, which goes through the uh, purchase and sale agreement. And enjoy, let me know if you have any questions. Financing, this is really important. So you're either subject to financing or you're not subject to financing. If you're not subject to financing, that means you're paying cash, okay? So if you're gonna be, pay cash for a home, the seller is gonna wanna see a um, proof of funds, meaning that there's proof that you actually have the money that you say you are gonna pay for the home in the bank ready to pay for it. Or you're subject to financing a mortgage um, type, which in this case is an FHA mortgage. It's guaranteed by the government, so they're a little bit stricter on things like uh, inspections and the appraisers go in and they look at the, the homes a little bit more critically to make sure that it is a solid home. Yeah. Um, this is a uh, loan of 96.5% um, of the purchase price. You're, per you're mortgaging 96.5% of the total price. The rate uh, is prevailing rate, whatever the, the, the agreement is with your mortgage company um, when you go in to get the loan, and this one's over 30 years. This buyer, um, to provide seller with a letter within three days, this is called a made loan letter. And what that means is that you've actually gone to the uh, mortgage company and you have applied for the loan. This talks about whether you're gonna pay points. Uh, a, a point is 1% of the loan value, and uh, that's agreed upon by your mortgage company, whether you're paying points or not. And then they might ask the seller to pay some of the buyer's closing costs. So it helps new buyers who don't, may not have a lot of cash to be able to afford to get into a loan. Uh, this is important right here. Buyer's ability to obtain financing is not subject to the sale of another property. Again, if you have a house you're trying to sell while you're trying to buy one, that's not a strong position to have as a buyer. So it's better not to have to sell your home. What people are doing now is they're getting what are called bridge loans. So if they're selling their home, they'll get a bridge loan or they're using money out of their investment accounts to get to bridge the gap so that they can pay cash for the new home. Mm -hmm.